Right, I'll just go and check what the situation is. I'm not going to switch the lights on because the whole thing going to explode. It's really deep. Boswell's Hall is just across the street here from the post office. It's the centre of the village. It's the centre of the community activities of the village, outside possibly the rugby and the football. Um, we use it all the time for committee meetings, for sporting activities, for dances, for all sorts of clubs. And if it was to close, even for six months, it would be a community disaster. Um, any money that could be raised is certainly going towards a good cause, whether it be from the lottery or a grant of some kind. We would certainly miss that hall if it was closed. If the village hall had to close, uh, it would be a great thing for the whole community. Uh, the village hall gets used in loads of different ways. We have the drama club there, the bus and flies there. I'm going to choose to put the toddler's group, which is the uh, state house. Saturdays and at weekends, we've got the coffee mornings and everything. Um, it would just be a right group, but it's a huge mess of that village hall, isn't there? Well, there's a lot of elderly around here as well that won't have any meeting point, anything to do local that's not far away because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere here um, without getting long buses out of, uh, out of the village. Um, so it's really quite important for all, all age groups. I know that they've got a toddler group here as well. Um, but it's kind of a vital place somewhere like this. One of the highlights in our village for me is the Wednesday lunch bill. And if, the, the hall, if that stopped, there'd be a lot of people never out in their houses. It's a, you come here on a Wednesday, you get a superb meal, and you get a lovely time of fellowship. If the heating were not sufficient to keep that going, these people would never be out in their houses. I it would just be enough a disaster if we can't get enough money to get the heating going again. Because obviously over the winter, the hall would have to close. Yes, it, I mean this hall is not just physically the centre of the village, as it, where it stands. Um, it is the centre of village life too. I mean it holds no end of clubs. We could go on with a long list, which is boring probably. But it really is the centre of village life. Right. This, this, this hall um, was built in Victorian times when people were much more hardy and didn't have central heating. Um, and it is essential these days to have a, a properly heated um, place to, to come as a village. And without the new heating system, it would be very difficult to maintain the hall at all. In fact, it's impossible because people wouldn't come. And they know they were going to be cold when they got here. Yeah, and that's so. So it just wouldn't work. Yeah. And it, to my mind, it's just absolutely essential that we have a new boiler and have it before the end of October, hopefully, before the weather really sets into the winter. This is Jennifer White, and I'm yeah. Kate Warner. We are both on the Village Hall Committee, and Jennifer is soup guru. Nobody in St. Boswell's makes soup like Jennifer, that's true, or scone. <laughs> like Jennifer. Um, Jennifer runs the soup club and I am one of the occasional helpers. There's quite a few helpers. The soup club runs um, from autumn, when does it start? In October. And it runs right, right through the end of April. End of April. And um, what happens is about 40 plus um, people come to the soup club. Are we allowed to call them OAPs? No, I'm supposed to call them Senior citizens. Senior citizens nowadays. So about 40 plus senior citizens come to the soup club every week. Some of them get uh, transport to come and um, some of them just come along because they live locally. And some of them aren't able to walk here even though they live locally so they get uh, other people to come and bring them along. But it's warm and cosy and they laugh and they chat and they see people they haven't seen all week or you know, if they haven't been for a couple of weeks. For, they, they're just a lovely atmosphere, isn't it? It is indeed, yes. Mm. I think um, for the soup club, it would be a disaster for all of the people that come um, if the hall has to shut through the winter because.
because we're not warm enough. And if we can't replace our boiler this in the next couple of months, then that will be the case. I like coming to the hall because for badminton and school shows and, and Bozo's got talent and I would like it if it was warm. Well, it'd be disaster if we didn't have, have it for the Hooli. That's a fabulous event and um, it's just for all the families in the village. It brings everybody together, a really important part of the year. Um, and you have a fabulous time, and there's no heating, you just couldn't use the hall. We will have to close for winter. That would be really bad because there wouldn't be a hooli, and everybody, like, every year looks forward to that. There wouldn't be some bubble lives for six months or something, and, like, and that's just, like, almost the centre of all the music in the village. And, I don't know, lots of things wouldn't go on, like the badminton, because loads of people enjoy that, and... I don't know, everyone just goes there if they want to take part in things and take part in groups and do things and meet new people.